Welcome to our tech support video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Ionic developers encounter. Our viewer is facing an error when trying to generate app icons and splash screens for iOS. The error message states that the source image is too small for the required dimensions. Let's break down the situation and find out how to resolve this problem together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. The error message indicates that your splash screen image is too small for the required iOS resolution. Specifically, the default landscape at iPadPro.png requires a minimum size of 2732 by 2048 pixels. To resolve this issue, you need to create a new splash screen image that meets the required dimensions. You can use graphic design software to resize or create a new image. Additionally, ensure that your app icon meets the necessary specifications for iOS. The icon size should also be appropriate for various devices. After updating your splash screen and app icon, run the command again, Ionic Cordova Resources. This will regenerate the resources for your app. Lastly, consider updating your Ionic version if you continue to face issues. Newer versions may have improved support and features. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the error about the source image being too small, ensure your icon image is down 24 by 1024 pixels at most. For the splash image, it should be 2732 by 2732 pixels. Also, remember to change the icon image file extension from .png to .png. Finally, run the command to generate resources. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the error about the source image being too small, check your config.xml file. Remove any entries for landscape images and rebuild your project. Additionally, add this line to your config.xml to set the orientation to portrait. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.